well subscribers here I am 99 degrees outside East St. Louis at a pilot truck stop doing a 34 hour reset what's different about this time you might ask well considering that I had a subscriber ask me to go into detail about how I hooked up my computer and how I use my computer inside the truck what's different this time is I'm going to be giving you a uh, an idea of some changes that will be happening and uh, they were kind of unexpected what am I talking about here it is the old rickety raggedy janky device blue screen of death you see what it says an operating system wasn't found try disconnecting any devices that don't contain an operating system well I didn't disconnect it reconnect it jerry rigged hot wired everything you can think of on here and it still doesn't work gone into the BIOS like 15 11 thousand times and uh, that doesn't work either only thing that happens first off that's the uh, original uh, HDD hard drive there that ST1 it isn't doing anything I think it just crashed and gave up and then the SSD by Samsung one terabyte that's right there yeah it'll do that get you all excited get you thinking that oh yeah I'm back on and uh, and then it'll give you the blue screen of death again gone online and looked at a thousand things to see what I could do one of the things that I did not do and um, I most certainly will do going forward is back up the Windows operating system to a flash drive that seems like that's something you wouldn't ever need or it doesn't matter until you get that frowny face up there so You know, it, 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 I hate to say it, but it was time. I knew it was time. I knew it was time when that escape button right there started getting stuck on this Logitech uh, keyboard. I knew it was time when I replaced the power supply from a 500 to a 750. Uh, I knew it was time when I had to replace um, the graphics card. I think this is a 1070 if I'm not mistaken but it's old school got the Pegatron motherboard got a Core i7 970 I believe 3.2 gigahertz um, usually when the electronics fail on me I get really upset and I destroy them I mean, I destroy them. I get to ripping shit and cracking shit and, you know, crumbling up and stomping. And, uh, nah, not this time. I think some of this stuff, a lot of this stuff is still good. I think the unit is still good for the most part. All of the, what is this? This is SD RAM, I believe. No, uh, all of that is still good stuff. So it may be dated. But it can be used for other purposes. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to slowly deconstruct uh, the entire thing. Yep. Not to make another one, but just to have extra pieces. Since, you know, there was a chip sh shortage and everybody was going crazy over circuit boards and things like that. I'll just put it in storage, man. Who knows, maybe the apocalypse will happen one day and uh, 
I'll be the only one within hundreds of miles with, you know, a motherboard. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. I'm just talking. But it's done. It's done. I mean, look. That's how long we've had it. My sister had it. She got it from Digital Storm way back in the day. Like 2014, 2014, 2013. And then my mom had it and quickly sold it to me in 2016. I've had it since 2016. It's 2021 going on 2022. So, uh, yeah, I think it did what it needs to do. Now that Dell, that's the Dell 3220, uh, 1440p. Uh, it goes up to 165 hertz, but it's no good to me now. Nor do I think that any of this uh, actually you know brought the best out in the, of that curved monitor there i think it's the uh i think they call it the dell 3220 dgf i'm not sure anyway on the bigger and better things maybe i can show you oh, i don't have that email set up here maybe i'll just go to the website quickly show you what's coming as you know I definitely am not the type of person who is going to go without for long I use my business account I have a business account with Dell in excess of sixteen seventeen thousand dollars one of the perks for uh, you know having your own business as an owner op truck driver and so I went online yesterday and customized one of these Alienware uh, doohickeys. Now the price wasn't what you see here, but one of the things I could have done is I've, I could have, if I had patience, and September 21st is the date most of these uh, devices would be shipped. I didn't have until September 21st because it's August 13th and I made my purchase August 11th so it's already been two days and I, I wasn't going to wait that long but I did go and I made a purchase of the uh, Alienware Aurora R12 gaming desktop and some of the things that I did um, I went with the uh, Well, this isn't right because this doesn't have what I actually ordered. I ordered the uh, 11th Gen i7 uh, 11700KF, and this one's just the F. And there is a difference, uh, however slight. But that's what that would be if if that were there. And because uh, I'm not gonna try to make this a long video and find it. And I went and got the uh, Windows 10 uh, Business Edition. I'm not really sure what the difference is, but you know, I ended up purchasing that one. Um, hell, I didn't get any of these uh, GPUs. I actually got the 3070. At the 3070, simply because the prices were getting ridiculous. So I got, I tried to reel myself in. Matter of fact, that's the problem. This is an AMD chipset, and I ended up getting the Intel version. So let's find the Intel AMD Ryzen. Where's the Intel? Actually, that was an Intel. Intel. Uh, five. There we go. I hope this is coming up clearly because I'm literally holding the phone in front of the the uh, laptop I have, which is an HP Envy X360. It's got biometrics and it's touchscreen as well. I like it. 
it's my backup plan and I'm definitely using it however I don't really game on it that could be a problem oh shit I'm running out of juice I guess that means I really need to hurry sorry about this this was an impromptu video that I really should have used the GoPro for but like I said it was really impromptu alright so yeah it came with the uh, well it will come with the 16 gig single channel which I'll end up upgrading and uh home edition although I've got the uh, business edition because she wasn't allowed to sell me the home edition because this was for business and she really wasn't supposed to sell me this at all because it's a gaming computer and they really couldn't see the use that I would have for a business for a gaming computer but there are uses trust me and I told her to do the same I went with the one terabyte uh, NVMe but I did not get the uh, you know the old school hard drive so uh, let me go through what I did really quick and I tried to save a little bit of money I should have really went with that i9 but I didn't I ended up going with the i7 sorry about that and it was the KF 8 core 16 megabyte I ended up getting the 3070 wish I would have spent the extra 200 for the 3080 but it's going in the truck so it won't be like I'm gonna have an opportunity to mine in the truck maybe the 3070 does uh, some of that but I won't be able to do that anyway because I'll be the way I use this computer is not conventional and it gets beat up somewhat from all of the bouncing and potholes that the truck has to go through on the road um, shit. Autofocus was drawing my attention there for a second. So, uh, hmm, that's something I didn't even notice. There's no extra cost for the dual channel, and I'm pretty sure I got the single channel, so I should have looked at that a lot closer. Oh well. So we went with the uh, one terabyte PCIe NVMe SSD. Um, just disregarded this completely. Didn't even buy, uh, get the uh, hard drive, the old school kind. Dark Side of the Moon was the type that I got simply because the lights are cool you know the RGB lights or whatever they're really nice but it's not a priority not for me plus I like the black look a lot better uh, went with the killer Wi-Fi I decided that that's pretty important gonna upgrade uh, gonna upgrade this as well simply because I've had it for maybe three years and I'm sure that they have better better little Wi-Fi my fi devices didn't get the mouse didn't get the keyboard because I thought I was gonna be able to use this Logitech but that uh, that may change too I may have to at least get a new keyboard uh, left it at the one year warranty um, I did get Office. That's because I need Office to run my business. I need Excel, I need Word. I need the ability to uh, pull documents, alter documents, print documents, uh, work on the spreadsheet, and I use Outlook quite a bit for email. So yeah, I ended up getting that didn't want just a 30-day trial and um, didn't get the uh, antivirus because I've already got Norton 
didn't need a monitor. I've already got one. And the mouse and things like that I told you I didn't get. So, yeah, I, I got the liquid cooled version too. I don't know if that was something you could see up here. The liquid cooled. Yeah, you don't see it here. But if you go through the rest of these, you'll see that there are options to have, um, you know, fan cooled or liquid cooled. I went with the liquid cooled version. Just considering the heat that I usually get in this cabinet. And I'm gonna redesign this cabinet because all of this is going to need to come out. All of it. And that shelf where this was actually sitting, that's going to be removed. And the plan is to um, purchase the 8020 aluminum T slots. And I'm going to build a uh, structure inside of this cabinet that will give it a little bit more rigidity, which it really doesn't need. But this form or style of shelving won't work and I can't put a shelf down really low because there's brackets and things that are in the way that are part of the actual cabinet but if I use the 8020 aluminum I can build it pretty much any way I want so the Alienware Aurora just because it's built a little differently it won't go like this one did in the top right corner against against the inside of the cabinet. Actually, I'm gonna place it squarely in the middle. But in able to place a, a device like that squarely in the middle and it not come flying out, you know, since I am in a truck, um, I'm gonna need to use the, uh, the 8020 aluminum to build and brace the unit. And since the heat exhausts up out of those units, um, moving the shelf and keeping the unit as low down to the bottom here to give all of this room up top for you know dispelling the heat that will be a, a benefit to me I'm gonna also probably add a fan or two in there just to keep it cool because when this was in there it would get extremely hot blowing heat right out the back you've got these fans that blow out the back You've got this power source that blows out the back and down, and all of it would hit the back wall, and I mean, you could feel the heat coming out of that thing. It may be part of the reason why uh, it failed on me, I don't know. But uh, we're definitely not gonna do that this time. So this is, um, this is getting a little long-winded. I just kinda really wanted to show you um, I wanted to show you what I what I what I went ahead and purchased. I went ahead and purchased me one of these um, Alienware desktops, the R12. And for whatever reason, okay, there you go. Featuring an Nvidia GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card for incredible gaming, or excuse me, incredible graphics performance. Also includes high performance CPU liquid cooling to keep your system cool and responsive. So I went ahead and did the uh, the financing. I didn't get any coupons or you have any deals, which, you know, I wish I had, had that ability, but yeah, I'm excited waiting for it. Uh, rather than waiting until September 21st, this one should show up, uh, uh, they said August 18th. So in about five days. So I've got five days to get the uh, aluminum T-slots cut and built up inside of this cabinet so that I could go ahead and uh, put this Alienware PC inside of the cabinet bringing me up to date considering that this PC here is about seven years old it's it's time 
it's definitely time so that's kind of my update right now and I'll go into much more detail and I'll probably break the videos up because 20 minutes went by pretty quickly faster than I expected when trying to explain this stuff so I'll have to do some parts with regard to how I set up the T slots how I dismantle this that'll be a separate video putting in the uh, putting in the R12 getting it all connected and sturdy how it looks on the Dell uh, 3220 DGF and uh, my experience with it as for now we're just gonna dream we're gonna dream and hope for a better day see you soon